Ooh, what ho chaps, I am Magical Mike, and this is one of those videos that I couldn't really get into a category, so it's pretty much just me looking at a bunch of fancy stuff that I found, and the clips are going to go past kind of quickly at some points, we just saw me running through the Black Citadel a bit, and this is just outside of the Black Citadel, but still in the sort of city instance. I also found out that if you slash sleep, then uh, you can actually get decent shots of the place because you, if you look up enough you can't see your character anymore so you can't zoom in as far as you could in Guild Wars 1 but you can do that instead if you want to get your character out of the shot and you can also remove the UI if you want by pressing Control, Shift and H that just toggles it so uh, you can do that if you like handy tips, handy tips friends, yes I also found this spot here where you can actually just swim there that's kind of strange Maybe it's because I'm a too, um, my my norn is too short, but who knows? So right now I'm kind of wandering around the outside of the, the citadel. There you can see right there. I mean, jeez, I can't read that. It went by too quickly. But I think all the char names of things are kind of Latin, or at least Latin inspired at the at the most. <laughs> And what I'm running around here is pretty much the ruins of Rin slash between Rin and the Academy at Nolani in Guild Wars 1, if you know that place. This is pretty much where the Citadel is built. So if I look to my left at any point, which I'm not going to, apparently, right there, there's a... I like how the Citadel is also built into the ruins like that. And there's a gate to the bane here if you want to know how to get in and out of the place. So yeah, if I look to my right at any point, I will see Char there, and if I look carefully, which, again, I'm not going to, it's kind of annoying, you actually see them fighting ghosts if you spend a few minutes there and have a look and watch. You also can't seem to jump down there, so I don't know if, if there is a way down there eventually, but right now, you can't get there, which is a shame. But what I was going to point out was that you can look up at the old academy from there, and you can see it all ruined. There's also a karma merchant selling food, so if you if you want to do cooking, there's a merchant there to uh, buy a bunch of cooking ingredients. You can also find whiptail devourers and juvenile whiptail devourers around here. I think you can find carrion devourers too, so as a tip if you want to buy, buy, find, tame pets. And quickly there's a view from on top of the wall, I've slowed this down, you can see a ghostly trebuchet in the background. And... Yeah, some of these clips I've had to slow down because I don't have enough time. I thought I recorded more of them than I did. And this is a statue of Pyre Fearshot. You should know him from the first game. And if you don't, then, well, you can read that if you want to. Also, if you did the Char tutorial area, then you'll know of this statue that you had to take down. And I came back here later on, and there's actually a skill point down here to do and uh, I just so happened to be in a massive zerg fest while I was doing it so I thought I'd take a quick video of people enjoying themselves. Now right here Wooden Potatoes led us all the way down Kessex Hills. I think he was level 3 or 4 at this point. We're level 9, 10 or 11. And that's the Wizard's Tower which you can see quite clearly up there. And then for some reason I decided to look at my character and Wolf. I came back later on because it was dark there and had a look at it in the daytime. So that's a pretty cool view. Unfortunately you can't seem to get up there. There's also an elemental in the background and some guy fighting it. Turns out that's a skill point challenge. Hmm. Also in the Kessex Hills I captured a shark. I'll probably point that out later on in the underwater videos. And I found this sort of ruined area with crate all over it. And there's actually a meta event there to free captured human prisoners. Oh, a bit more underwater stuff. Another interesting thing down here is a skill point. It's pretty easy to get. This is actually the Sunken Temple of the Ages from Guild Wars 1. That was Grenth's statue I just swam past. On the left there is Cormyr, which we didn't get to see in Guild Wars 1, so that's a, a newer thing that unfortunately got ruined. And to the right of her was Duena. So yes, unfortunately I thought these clips were a bit longer, but it turns out that I, uh, I was a bit trigger happy on my record button. This, this is the Order of Whispers kind of secret hideout that isn't so secret in Lion's Arch. If you, if you look around the sewers enough, you'll actually find this 
and you'll get to look around it, and it's pretty cool. There's a lot of Order of Whispers people. And there's actually a, a hidden door to that in a separate area. Here's the orrery. Again, slowed this clip right down. The frame rate was chugging a little bit, I must admit, but wow, this place was incredible. I love this place. It was really cool. And the final clip here is of uh, just the entrance to Holbrack. If you go through that portal over there, you will actually go to Holbrack, and these are, of course, the four main spirits of the wild. Well then, that was that.